so hey everyone today we have very amazing opportunity for you all outreach internship basically outreach open source program so this is an open source program in which you will not only get a very good stipend but also get the chance to work and enhance your development skills so let's start with the introduction of ananya who was outreach intern in 2023 yeah thanks for the int- introduction apasna um hi everyone i'm ananya and i was an outreach intern for the summer of 2023 um and i am an upcoming swi intern at intuit um so i'll start off by giving you a bit more information about what outreach is and what google summer of code are so uh, basically you must have heard about uh, like open source software and open source code so google summer of code and outreach are these two programs wherein uh, all of these organizations that have open source uh, code available they uh, they basically apply to the, these programs and then uh, because like they need to get their code a uh, repository maintained right their code ne- code base needs to be continuously maintained and uh, updated so for uh, by the industry standards so they need to uh, hire interns for that and google summer of code and outreach are these two programs uh, that are sponsored by companies such as google microsoft and like all of these big tech companies and um, you as an intern uh, apply to those programs for that specific organization and if that organization has liked the work that you've done like the contributions that you've made during the contribution period they're going to hire you as an intern but your uh, like your stipend will be paid by google summer of code or outreach yeah um. thank you nanya for this intro mm. so i guess we can proceed further firstly talking about the eligible eligibility criteria like who all can apply to this program yeah so um this program is eligible to basically anyone you just need to be 18 and above and uh, uh if you are a student or if you are a working professionals the rules are a bit different um uh, so i am talking to students only here i assume so uh, you are Uh, we live in the northern hemisphere and outreachy has two cohorts one one of them is in summer uh, from i guess may to august and the second one is from december to march if you are a student uh, then you can just uh, apply in the summer cohort um and you need to have uh, 42 consecutive days of no college which we do because uh, we have a summer break during the uh, during that period and uh, the other thing is that you need to have like no full time job and even if you have like a smaller internship at maybe a startup or something you need to disclose all of that information to outreach they are very strict about that um and what other eligibility um the basic eligibility criteria is that you need to present yourself like you need to be a minority of the country of the tech sector of the country that you're applying from um so basically or uh, if i am talking to the students of igdtw all of us are minorities in the tech sector of this um like the it industry of our country so all of us are eligible in a lot of ways um yeah okay nanya uh, one thing i'd like to add is uh, its deadline is 29 january so before that you must apply uh, next coming to like uh, essay questions we face in initial application phase so what are the tips from your side for particularly essay questions um for the essay questions i would say that they have around uh, four essay questions which um um uh, okay so i'll just let me just pause here and link to this blog that i wrote about my entire experience with outreach and the entire application process um you feel free to go through this it's a very extensive blog and if i may say so it's very detailed as well so you can like it's going to help you with everything from the essay period to the uh, essay round to the contribution period uh, uh, but yeah i'll give a bit more information so the essays uh you need to uh, answer four essay based questions and all four of them are related to you um like 
proving to them that you are a minority of the country so um all four of them a uh, need to like you need to give them statistics that okay these are the percentage of i am a minority in india because these are these are the percentage of women in the tech sector right now and you know talk about your own experiences where you, you have faced discrimination amongst uh, like maybe while you were working on a project and uh, there was there was slight bias or there was like there was like stereotypical comments that were passed to you but you need to remember to make uh, to like have a very diplomatic tone matlab you extremes mein ekdam nahi baat karni hai ki acha like this always happens so this has never happened so end mein aapne chahe bol diya ki okay women are discriminated in this country and whatever but end mein you need to end on a positive note that even if women are discriminated but still uh, my seniors in igdtuw have inspired me to uh, like you know venture into the tech industry and they are there to guide and help us so that that you should keep in mind and also one very important factor is ki outreach ke essays are evaluated on a rolling basis which means the earlier you apply the more chances the higher chances you have of getting selected so a uh, last time i know a couple of people who did apply uh, right like on the deadline wali date and they 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 did not clear the essay round so i would say this round is not a selection round but it's more of an elimination round kyunki last time there were around 7000 initial applications and usme se 1100 people were selected for the contribution period so it's more of like an eliminating process um and yeah that's it you can find more information about that in my blog as well okay ananya next moving to next moving to contribution period as you mentioned like uh, what are all the stages in the contribution period what are the do's and don'ts we need to follow and we need to like uh, neglect during this period yeah um okay so the timeline goes ki um, i think around february or around march uh, you early march you're going to get your results about who cleared the round Uh, the essay round for outreach and that is when the co- contribution period begins now the contribution period is the biggest like most important part of this entire process because um, out of 1100 last year only 63 interns were selected globally and only like 15 or 20 i think were probably from india so uh, like the contribution period is where you make your impact and that is totally dependent on uh the kind of organization that you choose and what contributions you've made to that organization so um the contribution period, like i would just recommend like write off some tips i'm going to give you uh, is ki essay round mein if you have already submitted your essay or if you are about to submit your essay by tomorrow let's say so just assume that you're going to cook qualify that round and uh, look at all the organizations that have participated in outreach already so abhi i think they have a current uh, wait i'll just share the link with you um yeah so they already have a couple of organizations up that will be uh, current projects that are up and they also have a lot of past projects like a lot of information about that so look into those organizations try to understand what their code base is and especially if the language that it's written in is one that you are comfortable using now i'll share a bit of like my own experience during the contribution period uh जैसे आपको पता ही होगा कि वेब डेवलपमेंट इज लाइक फुल स्टैक डेवलपमेंट इज द मेजर थिंग जो हमारे लाइक इंजीनियरिंग सर्कल्स में और वो सबसे ज्यादा यही लोग करते हैं इट इज ऑलवेज की डीएसए की डेवलपमेंट सो आई विल से कि डेवलपमेंट में मुझे फुल स्टैक डेवलपमेंट एकदम इंटरेस्टिंग नहीं लगता था मुझसे होता ही नहीं था मतलब जो बेयर मिनिमम कह सकते हैं वेबसाइट बनानी मुझे वो आती है तो माई टेक्स टैक वॉज मेजरली जस्ट पाइथन एंड मशीन लर्निंग एंड वो वो भी इसलिए था बिकॉज आई वर्कड ऑन अ रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट वेर इन मैंने नम्पाए मैट प्लॉट लेब और टेंसर फ्लो ये सब यूज किया था तो माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉज साइकेट इमेज विच कम्स अंडर साइकेट लर्न इट्स अ साइंटिफिक पाइथन लाइब्रेरी तो उसके थ्रू ही मतलब आई इवन देन आई डिड नॉट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन लाइक पाइथन पाइथोनिक डिवेलपमेंट और लाइक मशीन लर्निंग इतना ज़्यादा नहीं था तो द 
best thing about outreach is that they um, actually want beginner level candidates. They don't want people who are very, very experienced because um, like they're very beginner friendly. Uh, the organizations and the mentors also in most cases are really helpful during the uh, like contribution period as well. So you start off, if you are selected of, uh, after the essay round, you start off with shortlisting organizations and you make a list. They say, um, I, I also made a list with my best friend. We were like, we shared a shared collaborative Google Doc. We had organizations ka, like, link add kar de. Hum de ki if uh, if it's in our tech stack or not. If it was, we would add the link and then we would try to shortlist from that. So if you can have a helpful like friend like that and you know do it collaboratively that then that's the best thing i would say and um then try to see github pe jaake ki unka code base kaisa hai aapko samajh aa raha hai ki nahi aa raha hai to contribution period mein aapko prs karni padegi bahut sari and usually it's recommended quality over quantity please 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 go through proper resources jahan pe aapko pata chal paaye ki pull request kaise karte hain और पुल रिक्वेस्ट के लाइक टाइटल्स किस तरीके से होते हैं लाइक डेकोरम कैसे मेंटेन करते हैं बिकॉज दीज ओपन सोर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मतलब ये पूरे बड़े बड़े पैकेजेस और लाइब्रेरीज आर कम्प्लीटली मेंटेन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑल ऑफ दीज पीपल आर वॉलेंटियरिंग देयर ओन टाइप टू डू ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स तो दे हैव अ वेरी प्रॉपर चैनल कि इसके थ्रू इस तरीके से लोग फॉलो करें एंड अगर जितनी बड़ी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होगी उतने ज्यादा आपको रूल्स एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर गाइडलाइंस वगैरह मिल जाएंगे उनकी गिट हब रिपोजिटरी पर तो प्लीज रिमेंबर टू फॉलो दोज फॉलो द प्रॉपर डेकोरम एंड यूजली देर कम्युनिकेशन चैनल्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी वेल मेंटेन तो देर कुड बी अ डिस्कॉर्ड सर्वर और अ मेलिंग लिस्ट दैट यू कुड ज्वाइन और जूलिप पे जूलिप जूलिप इज सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक एन ऐप जैसे स्लैक की तरह बट इट्स आई थिंक इट्स ओपन सोर्स सो जूलिप सर्वर्स एंड देर आर स्लैक चैनल्स ऑल ऑफ दोज यू ज्वाइन देन यू गिव अ बिट ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड दिस है दिस कैन हैपन बिफोर द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पीरियड ऑल्सो यू कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट ऑफ इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ एंड ट्राई लुक फॉर थिंग्स दैट यू कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू जो आपको ईजीएस्ट चीज समझ आ रही है आप वो उसको उसको टारगेट करो एंड उसके बाद आप समझ समझ के थोड़ा सा अगर आपको क्वेश्चन हो रहे हैं आप सबसे पहले गूगल थिंग्स गूगल इफ यू आर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन अबाउट थिंग्स दैट आर इजली गूगल गूगलेबल डोंट डू दैट इट्स इट्स इट इज नॉट सपोज टू बी लाइक इट्स लुक डाउन अपॉन बहुत ज्यादा सो गूगल थिंग्स फर्स्ट एंड देन आस्क क्वेश्चन एंड द बिगेस्ट टिप i can give anyone right now is like even before you have submitted your essays because essays to you can write very easily but please 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 learn how to use git create a github account that's the biggest thing it's a you will take like 30 minutes to an hour maximum for creating your account and pulling and pushing code it's it's not that up you're going to just like wo jo fear hota hai wo hatana padega ki रिपोजिटरी क्लोन करनी है ये सब करना है क्योंकि ये सब फिर यू नीड टू लाइक इट इट शुड बी ऑन योर टिप्स बाय द टाइम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पीरियड स्टार्ट सो डू दैट एंड लाइक क्वालिटी पी आर्स एंड आई रिमेंबर की आई सबमिटेड टेन टू इलेवन पी आर्स बाई द एंड ऑफ इट ऑल एंड समर्क इन प्रोग्रेस लाइक वो इशू सॉल्व नहीं हुआ था वो पी आर मर्ज नहीं हुई थी फाइनली तो मैंने उसके उसके ऊपर बाद में जाके काम किया था so um yeah uh, you should do that and by shortlisting organizations try to shortlist organizations jisme um itna traffic now to so, jaise it's there a couple of places for example moja global and wikimedia all of these um, companies do have a lot of traffic usually to usme aapko fir matlab competition zyada ho jata hai so you need to be like very bahut achhi level ki prs aapki honi padegi uske liye um and like there were two organizations that i decided i was i was going to apply to one of them was going to hire, hire just one intern and the other was going to hire three or four i guess so my like uh, my ambitious wali organization was psychitimic jahan pe sirf ek hi intern wo hire kar rahe the pehle um and the second one was arcelia but main psychitimic pe itni sure thi ki maine end mein apply nahi kiya arcelia mein and um Yeah, um, pura contribution period was from March pura to April beginning, and I will say, I was very 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 very
वो यू नीड टू लाइक मतलब इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ डिसिप्लिन यू आर या हाउ हार्ड डिलीजेंट यू आर हाउ मच यू वॉन्टेड बिकॉज मैं तो हाथ धो के मतलब पीछे पड़ गई थी कि मुझे करना ही करना है ये तो इसलिए लाइक इवन इफ रात के तीन बजे कभी कभी जुलिप सर्वर पे रिस्पॉन्स आता था मेरी मेंटर का तो मैं वहीं पे बैठ के पीआर के ऊपर वापस से काम करने लग जाती थी आई एम प्रीटी श्योर इतने की जरूरत नहीं है बट आई वुड से अगर इतना डालोगे तो इवन इफ यू डोंट गेट सिलेक्टेड यू वॉन्ट फील एज सैड अबाउट इट सो गिव इट योर ऑल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पीरियड के टाइम एंड डोंट बी नर्वस फॉर आस्किंग बिफोर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन just like that this was the entirety of like contribution period ki tips and you can ask me specific questions later on i might have missed some things i don't know but yeah okay ananya i guess aapne sab cover kar diya hai ab aapki taraf se koi conclusion ya koi bhi tips ya aap kuch batana chahte hain to aap bata sakte hain um i would want to say that outreach was probably like especially because i was interested in pursuing research a lot so if you are interested in going towards research 100% start applying for outreach and google summer of code it's going to give you so much exposure it's a lot of money number one of course that that is a very big deal but number two the exposure that you get you communicate with people like from all over the globe so just say my mentor was um a french canadian woman who i used to like talk to sabse zyada and the, the other person was from berlin so it's like you get so much global exposure and you get to work like as a second year student it's a big big deal to, that you get to work with like such you know so much people who are so much senior than you are so um definitely do apply and don't think थोड़ी सी भी देर के लिए कि सेल्फ डाउट आ रहा है कि नहीं वो मे बी आई एम नॉट गुड इनफ मेरे प्रोजेक्ट्स खराब है मे मैंने इनफ काम नहीं किया है डोंट थिंक लाइक दैट पहले अप्लाई कर दो अपना बेस्ट दो सीखो ऑन द गो राधे देन थिंकिंग दैट ओ आई नीड टू लर्न पाइथन आई नीड टू लर्न मशीन लर्निंग बिफोर आई अप्लाई डू लर्न इट ऑन द गो एंड या जस्ट लाइक बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ उससे हो जाता है हो जाता है सबसे हो जाता है एंड बस थोड़ा वो उसकी जरूरत है डिलीजेंस की जरूरत है थोड़े से डिसिप्लिन की जरूरत है करने के लिए एंड क्या गो थ्रू माई ब्लॉग इट्स इट्स अ रियली गुड रिसोर्स आई वुड सेंड